Welcome back to Mrs. B Reads. We are working on Wonder. We are in part two via page 103, Genetics 101. Do you guys know what 101 means? Anybody? So when you go to college, 101, the 100s numbers are your entry level classes. So usually freshman year, you take your 100 level classes. Sophomore year is 200s. Junior year is 300s. Senior year is? Good job. Put your heads up. Here we go. It's too early to be sleepy. All right, genetics 101. This is like an intro class to genetics. Both sides of dad's family were Jews from Russia and Poland. Papa's grandparents fled the pogroms and ended up in New York City at the turn of the century. That was when they were oppressing Jewish people. Before This was even before World War II stuff started happening. Okay, So there's a lot of oppression going on over in Europe. Tata's parents fled the Nazis and ended up in Argentina in the 40s. Papa and Tata met at a dance on the Lower East Side while she was in town visiting a cousin. They got married, moved to Bayside, and had Dad and Uncle Ben. Mom's side of the family is from Brazil. Except for her mother, my beautiful grands, and her dad, Augusto, who died before I was born, the rest of Mom's family, all her glamorous aunts, uncles, and cousins, still live in Alto Leblon, a ritzy suburb south of Rio. Grands and Augusto moved to Boston in the early 60s and had mom and Aunt Kate, who's married to Uncle Porter. Mom and dad met at Brown University and have been together ever since. Isabel and Nate, like two peas in a pod. They moved to New York right after college, had me a few years later, then moved to a brick townhouse in North River Heights, the hippie stroller capital of upper, upper Manhattan when I was about a year old. Not one person in the exotic mix of my family gene pool has ever shown any obvious signs of having what August has. Are you with me, Brody? Okay. I've poured over grainy sepia pictures of long dead relatives and babushkas. Those are like the headscarves that the old Russian grandmothers wear. Oh, like the, the, like wrap, wrap around. around. Yep. Okay. Black and white snapshots of distant cousins in crisp white linen suits, soldiers in uniforms, ladies with beehive hairdos, Polaroids of bell-bottom teenagers and long-haired hippies, and not once have I been able to detect even the slightest trace of August's face in their faces. Not a one. But after August was born, my parents underwent genetic counseling. Do you know what that is? So you do a little blood sample and you send it to a lab and because of the Human Genome Project, has anybody heard about what the Human Genome Project is? It's been going on for a while now. It's very exciting. They're able to map out your genes. They're, they know what gene causes um, breast cancer, BRCA1 and BRCA2. They don't necessarily cause it, but there's a stronger chance of you getting it if you have that gene. So they're able to figure out the genes and how they show up, how they're expressed in our bodies. It's really, really cool science. So they were told, they went, underwent genetic counseling. They were told that August had what seemed to be a previously unknown type of mandibulofacial dysotosis, big uh, science words there, caused by an autosomal recessive mutation in the TCOF1 gene, which is located on chromosome 5, complicated by a hemofacial microsomia characteristic of OAV spectrum. That's a lot of science words. Just to say that his genes, which are on his chromosomes, kind of cause this reaction in his body, okay? Sometimes these mutations occur during pregnancy. Sometimes they're inherited from, inherited from one parent carrying the dominant gene. Sometimes they're caused by the interaction of many genes, possibly in combination with environmental factors. Donovan, are you with me? This is called multifactorial inheritance. What does the prefix multi mean? Uh, more than yes, exactly. Many. More than one. Good. In August's case, the doctors were able to identify one of the single nucleotide deletion mutations that made war on his face. One tiny little nucleotide. Do you know how tiny that is? Like, not even smaller than plankton. Yeah, you can't see it with the naked eye. Um, the weird thing is, though you'd never know it from looking at them, both my parents carry that mutant gene, and I carry it too. Let's talk about that. 